Now, let's take a look at this type of question about chance experiment, all right? So over here, I have four coins that I flip together, all right? And the number of head is recorded. Now, for those of you, if you can't uh, visualize what is this, it's, I have four coins, which is one, two, three, and four. So all these four coins are all flipped together. And when they draw, all right, I will see how many heads do they have. All right, so for example, my first one, maybe it's head, tail, head, and head, right? So my first flip, I get three heads. So that will contribute to the result over here. All right, and this is my first flip. And then my second flip, I flip four coins again, and then I will get, let's just say I will get, Uh, tail, 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 and head. So that's my second flip. All right. So this result will contribute to this number over here. Okay. Last example. I flip again. I might get tail, 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 tail. That's my third flip. Okay. And that result contribute to this frequency over here. Okay. So I will repeat this. I will repeat this by a total number of uh, for 50 times. Okay, a total of 50 times. Okay, so I will flip this under 50 times and this is the table that I got. All right, so how do you read this table over here? So out of 50 times, all right, the number that I get no hit at all, it's two times. Out of 50 times, I flip the coin, the number of time I only get one hit is six times, okay? And so on and so forth, right? So over here, I have a question here to work out the relative frequency, all right? Now, relative frequency over here is the same thing as probability, all right? It is just the probability of your experiment. So let's try to work it out, okay? So what is the relative frequency that I will get two hit? Okay, the relative frequency that I will get two hits over here, that's going to give me, all right? So I'm going to use this information over here because that tells me how uh, out of the 50 times, how many of times I get two hit, that will be 23. So that will be 23. Okay, the number of outcome is 23 over the total outcome, which is 50 times. All right, so I can leave my answer as like this, or you can also change it to a decimal number. So that's going to be 0 0.46. Both answers will be accepted. All right, so if you leave your answer as a fraction or, or decimal, that'll be fine. Okay, now next one over here, more than two hit. Now more than two hit means what? All right, it's going to be here onwards, right? More than two hit, it's going to mean three onwards. Okay, so the probability, the, my relative frequency of me getting more than two hits, that's going to be, here onwards, I get three and four, which is eight plus one, which is a total of nine times out of 50 tries. Okay, so nine divided by 50, which is 0 0.18. Okay, so that's my relative frequency. Less than two hits. Less than two hit this time, it's gonna be this one over here, which I'm interested in these two numbers. So the probability that I will get less than two hits, that's gonna be two plus six, which will give me eight. The number of times uh, is eight out of 50 times. So that's gonna be 0 0.16. And finally, if I were to ask you, at least one hit, all right? Which outcome do you think I'm interested in when I say the word at least? Now, at least over here means the minimum must be one, all right? And it can be more than that. So the outcome that I'm interested in will be this whole line over here, okay? So the probability, okay, that I will get at least, all right, one hit, Okay, that's going to be 
all this outcome add together. I'm going to click the add 6 plus 23 plus 8. Okay, 6 plus 23 plus 8 plus 1. That's going to be 38 out of 50. Okay? Which also equivalent to 0 0.76. Alright? So that's how we do relative frequency question. It's the same how we do our usual probability question, but don't get tricked by all this word, okay? But basically, what does it mean? It's just a probability of your experiment. So just read the question carefully and get all the information out and just calculate accordingly and you'll be fine. All right, that's all.